you. This video will cover two different types of snipping tools. Snipping tools are some kind, sometimes referred to as snippets or screenshots or screen captures. There are two different ways to do those. The first is the snippet tool built into Microsoft. So if you go to your start button in the bottom left hand corner of your screen and type into the search box SNP, S-N-I-P, the snipping tool will come up in the list of programs. If you click on that tool, a box, your entire screen will go white and a small box will come up. You simply draw a picture, a box around using your mouse, click and drag a box around the image that you want to save. Once you let go of the mouse button, your image will come up in a new screen. Once you click on that tool, you'll be able to draw a box using your mouse, click and drag to draw a box around whatever image you want to take a snip of. When you release your mouse button, the image you selected will come up on the screen everything that you drew the box around will appear. To save that image you would click the purple save icon. You would name the file. You would navigate to where you want to save it. Click save. Then you can close it that's the snipping tool. That's the easiest tool um, to use for taking snippets uh, because it allows you to draw the box around exactly what you want to use. And again you find that in your start menu by typing the word snip into the search box and clicking on the snipping tool. The second snipping tool is or the snip, second snipping method is a screen print and that requires a keyboard with a print screen key. It'll be in the top row of your keys up above the number keys where you'll see the escape key, the F1 through 12 keys and then you should see a key that says print screen or it may be abbreviated PT P-R-N-T S-C-R-N. If you have that button you'll push it on your keyboard. Nothing will happen on your screen but it will have taken a picture of everything that's on your screen. So you want to make sure whatever you want to take a picture of is on your screen then press that key on your keyboard then you'll start Microsoft Word from your start menu. That's the circle button in the lower left hand corner and you'll open up Microsoft Word. Once you have Microsoft Word open you'll click the paste icon which is this little clipboard in the upper right left hand corner of the screen and you'll see that all of the images on your screen appear. Now you're likely only going to want a portion of these images. You're probably not going to want everything that was on your screen to be in your submission for your assignment. So you're going to need to crop the image. To crop the image you click on it, then you click on the pink format button at the top of the screen towards the middle of the screen then you'll click the crop button towards the right of your screen and you'll notice that black handles, these are called handles, appear all around the image and you can grab onto those using your mouse and slide them in to shrink the image to only what you want to submit, what you want to save. So you'll notice that my cursor looks like an sort of like an eye and if I put it on the image it has four arrows 
if I put it near one of the handles, it turns into what looks like a sideways black T. When it looks like that, you click your mouse and it will change to a plus sign. Then you push over to select to line up with the edge of the image that you want. And you'll do that same thing on all four sides. Wait till it's a black T, click, push, and unclick. Just let go. You'll drag all of the boxes until you get just the image you want. Then you will click into the white space and you'll have just your image. Now it's going to be very small and that's because it had to fit everything that was on the screen into this page. You can make the image bigger by clicking on it and grabbing the lower right hand corner uh, little circle. Your cursor again will change from the little eye to a diagonal arrow. Click. It changes again to the plus sign and pull it and then release the mouse button. Then your image is big. You can add other screenshots if you like by pushing the keyboard button again and cropping again. Once you've got all the images on your screen that you want to save, click the save icon in the top left hand corner. Name your file. Click save. And that is how you create an image with the snipping tool with the print screen key on your keyboard in Microsoft Word. There are a lot more steps to that, so the snipping tool is the simpler of the two, but either one is acceptable to submit your work.